He won a big check in Huntsville, Texas, with seven flat. This kid likes to be seven. He likes to be seven. Let's watch him right here. We're gonna go the distance of this big long Spicer Grip Arena as he goes to work now. It doesn't take him long once he gets a hold of it. And not a bad run for all the way at the back end of the arena. 14 and 55 is going to be the time for Case. 14.55, that'll put him, of course, fourth right now in our rope. Let's go to Russell Schilling. Fall at Texas for Russell Schilling, our next one to rope. If you are here for our next event, which is the Grip Classic, sponsored by Texas Feed Fat, that's going to be starting around 2 o'clock. That is the uh, scheduled start time. And I do not believe we will start before 2 o'clock. We will not start before 2 o'clock, and we may have just a little break in between, not quite sure. But uh, anyway, that'll be at 2 o'clock. It is the Grip Classic, sponsored by Texas Feed Fat, with $10,000 added. Coach Saddles will be going to our champions. If you're here for that, then uh, you need to get over there to the entry office and get, get your entries taken care of. Ten ninety four for Russell. Let's go to Trevor Hale. Trevor Hale out of Perryton, Texas, our next one to row. All right, getting that calf, standing up inside of that preferred chute. Here we go, Trevor Hale, our next one. He was 9-4. He won second in Big Spring, Texas at the Big Spring Pro Rodeo. And is going to be 12.36 on this one today. Brett Stewart, he's going to be next. And then it'll be Richard Newton at number 10. A big thank you to our sponsors. We appreciate them. They're the ones that really make it work here at the Grip. Folks like our platinum sponsors, Nutra Feeds, as well as Bargy Feed Yard. And some trouble for Brett Stewart today. It is a... No time for our cowboy out of Stephenville, Texas. Let's go to Richard Newton. It is a no time for Richard Newton, Portales, New Mexico. No time. Let's go to Quaid Hyatt, our next one from Canyon, Texas. 36th in the world right now is where he's currently in the PRCA standings. What helped him get there was a big win in Ogden, Utah at the Pioneer Days Rodeo. Won a big check in Ogden right around the 24th of July, just a few days ago, up there in the Beehive State. They celebrate the founding of the state of Utah. They call it Pioneer Days. Ogden celebrates big. Here's Quade Hyatt. Canyon, Texas. He went Ogden with a 7-3. Went on to Mountain Home, Idaho. One second there. He's number two with the Rookie of the Year standings right now. I do believe one of our young men that was in our match roping a couple of years ago and now is roping here with the open guys right in here among the big dogs, so to speak. Here we go. This is Quade Hyatt. Nice run right there. I think we're good and we're gonna be 9.36. 9.36, pin that calf will stay tight and I bet he does. 9.36 is going to put him number one right now in, in our tie down rope. He takes the lead. Let's go to Bryce Deer, then it'll be Sterling Jamison. There's Bryce, he got out quick. All right, go to work right here. Might have got out a little too quick. It's a broken barrier, so it'll be a 10 second penalty. Makes that nine, a 19. It'll be 1946 for Bryce. And he got up, so it is a no time. No time for Bryce. Let's go to Sterling Jamison next.
11.34 will be the time for Sterling Jamison. 11.34. Well, the barbecue tents are getting set up. Many of them are set up. I see some smoke coming up from some of those cookers down there. And today, they're going to be having that uh, barbecue competition. It is the Bob Bevel Memorial Barbecue taking place. And at 6 o'clock, we'll have that awards announcement as to who actually has the best Texas barbecue. It's the Bob Bevel Memorial. Here's Bart Meek, our next one to go now. It's going to be no time for Bart Meek today, Alvarado, Alvarado, Texas. It's an empty loop for Russell Isles today, Stephenville, Texas. It is a no time, no time right there. Let's go to Jesse Clark. Last time we were here, which was in 2019, Jesse Clark rode out of this arena as the tie-down champion from Clovis, New Mexico. He's our next one to rope. He's a five-time turquoise circuit qualifier and three times he is qualified on to be at the Ram National Circuit Finals Rodeo. A big thank you to the folks that are providing our big screen for us down at the bottom end of the arena. You can take a look at uh, the run right up close and personal with that big wide vision screen right there. We say thank you to the folks at ASCO, ASCO Equipment Rental for providing that screen. They've got the big beautiful loaders right up here as you come through the main gate as well. It's going to be a 10 second penalty added. So 19.05 is the time for Jesse Clark. 19.05. All right, we'll go to page number two, and it'll be number 17. This is uh, Price Harris. He'll start the second go-round. We'll start round two at number 17. Canyon, Texas for Price Harris. Here is Price Harris, Canyon, Texas. Wow, a little zigging and zagging going on down through there. It is not going to work. It'll be no time, and Price will start that second go-round. He'll be the first one to go in round two. Let's go to the young talent of Chance Teasen. Here's a college national finals qualifier this past year. He did it not only in the tie-down roping, but he was there qualified in the team roping as well. Elk City, Oklahoma. They can rope in all kinds of weather over there. His family has an indoor arena. They also have a big outdoor arena. Live in a beautiful place right there. His mom and dad, they are roping producers. He grew up with a rope in his hand. Here's Chance Teasen, Elk City, Oklahoma. And some trouble right there for Chance. It is going to be a no time here in round number one. He'll be gunning at him in rounds two and three. It's three full go rounds. Let's go to Clay Bonner. All right, Clay Bonner, Hobbs, New Mexico. Nice run there. We're good at the barrier. We're gonna be 10 and 30 for Clay. 10, 3, 0. And that is going to put him fourth place right now. That's fourth in the round. We will pay four deep in the round. We'll pay four deep in the round. And so that is fourth right now, that 10 30. Jake Harris is going to be next. Here's Jake Harris, Canyon, Texas. Oh, man. That was going to be a good one. It's going to be no time for Jake. Let's go to Tate Teague, our next one to rope. Tate's from Stephenville, Texas. We're at number 21, then it'll be 22 for Trevor Thiel. Tate was second in Big Spring, Texas. The Big Spring, Texas Pro Rodeo. 
Did that with a 9-4. If he could be 9-4 here today and move him into the top four. About 9-6-5, 9-65 for Tate Teague. That is going to put him in the top four. That will put him third right now. That will be third in the go-round as of right now, and it looks like we're good. We'll write it down. 9-65 for Tate Teague. There's Trevor Thiel next to go at number 22. Mount State Circuit Finals qualifier placed last month in Eagle, Colorado at the Eagle, Colorado Pro Rodeo. Good run right there at 12.04 for Trevor. All right, let's go to number 23 now. Tyler Prasina, Alvarado, Alvarado, Texas. It is a no time for Tyler. No time there. All right, Hudson Wallace, Huntsville, Texas. I'm not sure when that barbecue is going to be ready, but it is uh, looking good with all that smoke coming up out of those tents down there. During the course of the day, well, probably a little later on, I'd say maybe around lunchtime, you could probably go ease down there and do a little barbecue sampling. Oh yeah, they do have, so we do have that uh, awards ceremony at six o'clock. But you can vote and do the fan favorite down there. So uh, go check it out. Free samples of all of the barbecue tents down there. Catch his catch cam, but it never works when you catch one like that. Hudson Wallace, Huntsville, Texas. Is going to be no time. Let's go to Owen Waller, Grover, Colorado. All right, here's Owen Waller, Grover, Colorado. Mountain State Circuit Finals Qualifier. He won second in a round in Prescott, Arizona at the world's oldest rodeo over the 4th of July weekend. Did that with an 8-3. We're going to be quick here at 9.92 for Owen Waller. 9.92. Solid run right there. Puts him fourth right now in the round. That'll be fourth. Number 26 will be next when the arena is cleared and ready for Brock Baldwin. I don't, I don't know where you ate breakfast this morning, but you've got to eat their breakfast burrito over there. It is absolutely good. Philip Murray and I bought one together and split it. Stood right there and ate. Each of us ate our half. And it was so good, we bought another one and split it again. Ten ninety nine for Brock Baldwin. Ten ninety nine is the time for Brock, and now it is a no time as that calf gets loose before the six. Jacob Walters, Colorado City, Texas. You're next. Then it'll be Zach Kirkpatrick. Hey, tomorrow morning, nine o'clock. It'll be Cowboy Church with Steve Friska. Music will be by Jake Hooker. That'll be in the Spicer Grit Pavilion. Nine seconds on that run right there. I like that. Nine seconds is going to put him in the number one spot for the round, Jacob Walters. Crosbyton, Texas is where he calls home. He's gonna be our next one. And then it'll be Cater Tate, Chase Valdez, and Colton Wallace at number 31. Here's Zach. Good work of Roan Horse right there. We're gonna be 11 and 20 on this one. Here is number 29. It's Cater Tate.
Here's Cater. It's going to be 9.45. Makes a nice run right there. 9.45. That is, that's third. That is third in the round. All right, we're going to go to number 30 next. Chase Valdez will be our next one to go. It's going to be no time for Chase Valdez, Decatur, Texas. All right, Colton Wallace is going to be next. Big Spring, Texas. That's Colton Wallace right there. Placed third in Level Land, Texas, and uh, won some money in San Angelo as well, but here today in round one, it's gonna be no time. Let's go to Lane Livingston, Big Spring, Texas. Two-time Texas Circuit Finals qualifier. Placed in a round back in, I believe it was May. Back in May at the Red Bluff Roundup in California. Won some money as well in Spooner, Wisconsin. The Spooner Pro Rodeo. Here's Lane Livingston, Big Spring, Texas. Nice run there. It's going to be 9.06, and that'll go to second right now. 9.06 will go to second in the go round. Top four, 9.45 is that fourth place position right now in the round. Here's Luke Potter. So two years ago, two years ago it took an 8.4 to win the round, and 9.42 was fourth right now. We're pretty much on track for fourth place at 9.45. 9.45 is fourth. A couple of years ago, 9.42 was fourth. Of course, we didn't have the plastic grip to open last year. Here's Luke Potter, Maple City, Texas, three times to the Prairie Circuit Finals. And goes too far down the arena. It's gonna be no time for Luke Potter. All right, we're at number 34. Now, Cody Mahaffey is who will start the third go-round. We're at number 34. It's going to be 10.47 for Cody. Cody will start that third round. 10.47 right there. Cash Hooper, Carlsbad, New Mexico, next to go. All right, here's Cash going to work right here. Good quick hands, and for Cash Hooper, it's going to be 11.21. 11.21 for the Carlsbad, New Mexico man. Let's go to Shad Mayfield, next row. Shad Mayfield currently fourth in the world standings right now. He's a two-time Wrangler NFR qualifier. Won the championship of the world this last year. In 2019, not only qualified for the NFR, but also was the National High School Rodeo Association tie-down champion. Nine sixty-three is the time. Nine and sixty-three, and that is going to be uh, that'll be six. We're paying the top four in the round, but a good start to the average right there for Shad Mayfield. 
There's Trenton Smith next to go, Bigfoot, Texas. Twelve thirty-two. Twelve thirty-two for Trenton Smith. Here's Ryan Thibodeau, number thirty-eight, placed in Nacogdoches, Texas. He won Goliad, Texas. Ventured out west, ended up in Vernal, Utah, and won some money there as well as Elko, Nevada. To our silver sponsors, we say thank you to ADM Grain, also Ag Texas Farm Credit, and All Tech. All right, here we go, Ryan Thibodeau, Stephenville, Texas. Making short work of it here today. 9.03 for Ryan. Man, we've turned in some awesome times today. That 9.03 is gonna go to second place in the round, and uh, right now, it is a 9.36 that is holding down that fourth place position. We'll go to Jake Booz next, Miami, Texas. Back in April, he won the short go round in San Angelo with an 8-8. Jake Booz next to go, Miami, Texas. Sixteen forty nine for Jake. Here's Logan Harkey, Clyde, Texas, number forty on the list. That one's been drinking rocket fuel. It's gonna be no time for Logan. Here's Callan Johnson now. Amarillo, Texas. Callan is one of our scholarship recipients for 2021 and 22. Hey, don't forget all of our kids at uh, Dummy Rope and taking place over there underneath the Spicer Grip Pavilion today. That's kicking off at 10 o'clock, just a few minutes from right now. All of you kids, you need to be entered in the Dummy Rope. It is sponsored by Sweet Brand and Ramp. It's called Digging the Kids. Digging the kids, dummy roping. We'll have our finals held in the arena right after our calf roping today. We say thank you to Holiday Inn Express as well as XCL Feeders. Thirteen sixty-four is the time 13 and 64 for Callum Johnson let's go to Riley Webb now Denton Texas our next one to rope we're at number 42 working our way to the end of the round here at 51 so not too many runs away from the end of round at number one once again that second go round is going to start at number 17 That'll be Price Harris, 17. It's going to be our start off in round number two. Here's Riley Webb, Denton, Texas. Ten left to go. I do believe we'll find out. Are we going to drag the arena? We will drag the arena. That's the nod we're getting. We will drag the arena before we go to that second go round. Just kind of a good break right there. Big thank you as well to Animal Health International. Also, Cactus Cares and Alanco. We say thanks to all of them for being silver sponsors. Here's Riley Webb, Denton, Texas. Wow, nice work right there. 8.49, and that is our fastest run so far of the first round. 8.49, you remember that name right there. Riley Webb doing a great job. 849 leading the round. Let's go to Quay Howard, Canyon, Texas. Next to go.
It's going to be 10 3. There is the nod, and we're good. We'll write it down. Let's go to Bo, Bo Cooper now. Carmine, Texas. Our next one to rope at 44. Bo Cooper, 24th in the world right now as of this weekend. Of course, the top 15 make it to the Wrangler NFR, and we've got a couple of couple of months left in the season. We'll end that season the end of September, I believe. San Bernardino will be in San Bernardino, one of the last rodeos of the season. Here's Bo Cooper. One second in Belfou, South Dakota. Place for a $3,500 check in Calgary. Broke the barrier. It's going to be 21 and 94 for Bo Cooper. 21 and 94 with that penalty. Cole Bailey will be next. Okaboge, Oklahoma for Cole. Cole Bailey, a Prairie Circuit Finals qualifier and a circuit champion. One Burke, South Dakota. He placed in Mitchell, South Dakota. The Corn Palace Rodeo. It's going to be 11.56 for Cole. 11.56 here today. All right, let's go to Tyler Milligan next. All right, Tyler Milligan in 2018. He was our Invitational Calf Roping Champion. Tyler Milligan, two times to the NFR. He was there in 19 and then again in 20. Won a big check in Belfou, South Dakota. He won a round in Redding, California. Here's Tyler. Shane Hanchi, you're going to follow. Then it'll be Monty Lewis. There we go. Tyler Milligan, Stephenville, Texas. Nine point one four. Nine fourteen. That is. That's fifth. That's all right. We're paying four in the round, but a good start for an average right there for Tyler Milligan. 9.14. Let's go to Shane Hanchi. Carmine, Texas. He is the number one ranked tie-down roper today with $131,000 already won this year. He's going to be featured in our match tomorrow with Marty Yates. He's an 11 time Wrangler NFR qualifier. Back in 13 he won the championship of the world as well as the average. Won the average again in 2020. Here's Shane. Makes it look smooth. Eleven ten. Eleven ten for Shane Hanchi. I remember the first time I met Shane was in Marana, Arizona, at the roping, at the tie down roping there during the uh, Tucson rodeo. That was about eleven years ago, about the first time he qualified to the NFR. He was still wet behind the ears and a little bit green, but I'll tell you what, he could rope calves. Monty Lewis, Hereford, Texas, is going to be next to go. Six times he's been to the NFR. In 2004, he was the champion of the world, and he won the average. He's been one of our featured match ropers here for a lot of years, for a couple of years. Back a few years ago. Reese Raymer will be our final one to go at number 51. Here's Monty Lewis. Oh, darn it. Monty is going to have trouble. It'll be no time here in round number one for Monty Lewis. Three left to rope as we go to Caleb Schmidt. Third in the world as of right now. He's the 2013 tie down and all around rookie of the year. Currently fourth right now in the all-around race. Won a big check in Spanish Fork, Utah. Placed there. Here he is. 
Then Marty Yates is going to follow at number 50. Nice job there. About 8.50, second fastest time of the first round. Goes to number two in the round with that 8.50, 8.49 is in the lead. 8.50 is second. 8.49 still in the lead. We're going to go now to Marty Yates, Stephenville, Texas. Marty Yates, 11th in the world. He's going to be featured in our match tomorrow with Shane Hanchy. That's always a good time to watch those guys go head to head. They'll go head to head on 10 of them and our juniors are gonna go head to head on eight calves. There's Marty Yates. Seven times to the NFR. And how about a 9.23? 9.23. He holds the record, by the way, at the Ram National Circuit Finals of the fastest run. Still holds it. Time of 6-9. That's roping right there. All right, Reese Reamer is going to be our final one to go. 2012 Rookie of the Year. Here's number 51, Stanette, Texas, Reese Reamer. Our final tie-down roper. about that run for as far as he went. 10.69 is going to be the time on the run. 10.69 for Reese Reamer. Three times to the NFR. All right, let's give you the results of the round. We're gonna pay the top four. Here's the way it's gonna look. First place with an 8.49 is gonna to go to Riley Webb. That'll be first. Second with an 8.50 is gonna be Caleb Smith. Third with a time of nine flat goes to Jacob Walters. And fourth with a time of 9.03 is Ryan Thibodeau. Those are the top four in the round and we're gonna bring the tractor in. We'll smooth it up. We'll be ready for round number two in just a moment. We'll start on number 17. Meanwhile, take a look at our big screen. We've got some sponsors to tell you about. <laughs> 